Hello everyone. So I know everyone has heard about Nicole Kessinger telling Chris Watts to pawn his wife's wedding ring. And my question still remains as, why would she tell him to pawn it if she supposedly only knew Shanann was taking the girls on a play date and she would be back eventually? What if they were to fix their marriage and make it work? And then Shanann would obviously want her wedding ring back, right? So why would the mistress, if she knew nothing about getting rid of his family, why would she jump the gun and say, go pawn it? And not only that, she says that she's pawned jewelry a few times and that she told him it's not worth shit though. So when did she see this wedding ring to know that it's not going to be worth shit? Is she just saying that because she knows that you don't get as much money at the pawn store as you would a retail store? Also, why did she say that she told Kobach that she couldn't sleep after he made this comment about the wedding ring? Why would she say that? What's the big deal about a wedding ring that she could not sleep? Is this another lie that she's throwing out because she just realized she fucked herself by saying, oh, go pawn your ring. And now she's thinking to herself, I slipped up. I probably shouldn't have said that. But now I'm going to blame it on Chris because he brought up this subject about the wedding ring. <laughs> that was when I had said, hey, when you go to North Carolina, I really think you should try to fix things with your wife. And kept asking, well, what about us? And I was trying to kind of take a step back and see if he would fix things before attempting to pursue things with me. Because I wanted to know that if all of these things he's saying, like, yes, we're getting separated, and yes, you know, all of these things that he's saying are happening are happening, I wanted to know that it was like, you were doing this like you said you were prior to me coming in your life and it had nothing to do with me you know and so for me it was like I just I really wanted them to fix it I would have just like left the situation Towards like don't don't like don't say those words to me and then go try to make peace with your wife and lay in bed with another woman like he kept telling me like you know I don't want to I don't think she wants to and I was just like please try like just please try like I just thought he had such a beautiful life and and you know and I was willing to just leave like leave his life if you work things out with your wife I'm gone and like I and if you work things out with your wife I'm gone. Have kids and have my own marriage and all that stuff. 
her phone found on the couch or between the couch cushions like did you plant all that stuff I just threw it in there. you just threw it yeah, in there I, 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 why, I, why did you do that I, I don't know what was going on that morning like even like you know her watch her phone like I you know that was actually like if I planned this I would probably just take it out to the field or something, you know but, what about you know, her ring and stuff what were you thinking about that it's like you know maybe she wanted Maybe she actually really wanted the divorce. Maybe she didn't want to fix it. She put it there on the counter. She took it off? Or did I, you I, take I, it off? I took it off. Okay. Oh, so that would look like she was saying, I want a divorce. I'm leaving it here when I'm taken off. I see. So the phone and her watch and, and the couch, was that that morning before you left to go to service? Okay. That's, I think, uh, Nicole's son found it or something. Yeah. What other things did you do that maybe we even missed? Shut the phone and watch. You know, I think I threw the therapy book she wanted me to read in the trash. I don't know. That was that morning? I probably, I think so. Were you trying to make it look like she threw it in the trash? I don't, I don't know. I just, oh. like, I, I just didn't think it was, nothing was ever going to work again. So it was... I didn't know what was going on. Did you go down to the basement? I thought the basement door open. Yeah, the door is open. But yeah, so there was a lot of movement. You know, I think it was around 426 or something. And the garage door opening, the basement door opening, and then, of course, the living room sensors and all. Do you remember what you were doing all during that time? Other than you had a lot of steps. I'll just say that. Okay. <laughs>
Hi, <laughs> it's me. I miss your face. I was just calling to say hi. Call me back. Bye. Hi, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I guess just call me back when you have a chance. Hi. Come on. Thank you so much for coming out here with me, Christopher. I am having a wonderful time. You mean a lot to me. And I'm glad that you're having a blast. I am so out of breath. 